KYC or Know Your Customer Compliance Platform is a technological solution used by the financial institutions and various businesses to verify the identities of their clients and assess the potential risk associated with their business relationship. Now, the main purpose of these platforms is to comply with the KYC regulations, which is a part of the larger anti-money laundering laws. Given that the top banks have paid billions of dollars in regulatory fines for KYC compliance failure in the past decade, financial institutions have invested hundreds of millions of dollars in the KYC platforms and compliance operations. One of the largest fintechs in India, Paytm, has been recently banned by Reserve Bank of India for not complying with the KYC regulations. So with this, you can understand the importance of KYC operations and KYC platform for financial institutions. Let us look at the functional architecture of a KYC platform. So KYC platform primarily consists of three core technology components. First, the business process management software or the workflow automation software. This is something like a PEGA or an APN that enables financial institutions to automate the KYC data collection to identify and verify the identity of the customer or beneficial owner in case of business accounts. Second is the content management solution that stores a range of content type with a shared repository. It allows the management of all types of content, including the documents which you collect for KYC, the photos or the picture ID of the applicant, videos, images, emails, web pages, XML tag documents, etc., which are submitted by the customer or a result of a search conducted by the KYC associate. The third core component of a KYC platform is the rules engine. The rules engine typically houses the compliance regulations for different jurisdictions or different countries where the bank or the financial institution may be offering its products and services. Now, these rules are based on either jurisdiction or could be configured based on different products offered by the financial institutions. From a feature standpoint, these platforms enable business users to create dynamic account opening form for the products or services they are offering and gather the account opening information which they need from a KYC compliance perspective. These platforms interface with different service providers such as Played and IDB for identity verification, which could be verifying your driver's license or your passport numbers, etc. Or with LexisNexis, FircoSoft or Refinitiv World Check for list screening, enhanced due diligence checks, etc. These systems would also have some internal interfaces to the transaction monitoring system, to the CRM systems, etc. The business rules engine would also facilitate risk rating of customers and classify the level of due diligence needed. This could be simplified due diligence for low risk customers, standard due diligence for medium risk customers and enhanced due diligence for high risk customers. Other features of KYC platform includes notification services, including the document expiry notification, KYC status dashboards, reports for management and relationship managers, etc. These systems would have secured communication features so that any communication with the customer or any document shared by them is secured. Most countries also require personal identification data or the PII data shared by the customer to be encrypted to prevent any fraud. So the system would have these features where the personal identification data would be encrypted. KYC projects offer lucrative career opportunities for business analysts because every financial institution need KYC platforms and there would be role for KYC analysts within the technology group. Business analysts working on KYC projects get to work on data integration projects where they may be integrating data from various database providers or KYC verification service providers. They get to work on different workflow management tools so that you can configure the workflows to different KYC groups. You get to work on customer experience and user interface heavy projects as some of these forms which needs to be designed are used by the end users. You get to work on data analytics projects. You get to learn about the different compliance requirements across jurisdictions. You get to understand different kinds of products offered by financial institutions. It could be in the wealth management area. It could be in the cryptocurrency area. It could be in the lending area. It could be in the deposits area. Any of these areas that banks and financial institutions work, you get to understand these products because you need to look at the compliance from an onboarding perspective.
If you want to learn how KYC system works and experience different types of projects involved in KYC AML compliance program, then join our business analyst workshop or our business analyst training program where we work on real world projects and get real world experience. That's it for today. See you soon with another knowledge sharing video.